Hello, today we will solve question number 3 from CBSC Standard 9th Maths Chapter number 12, Exercise 12. Let's see what is the question. Radha made a picture of an aeroplane with colored paper as shown in figure. Find the total area of the paper used. I always keep on telling to solve any geometrical problem you must study the given diagram carefully. So let's start solution. Here total area of the paper used is equal to you can see there are different numbers given into the figure so area of 1 plus area of 2 plus area of 3 plus area of 4 plus area of 5 by adding all these areas we can find total area of the paper used so let's start to find area of 1 that is this triangle you can see here it is an aeroplane so definitely this side is also going to be same as the other one therefore its measurement is also 5 cm as well you can see that these two sides are equal because it is clearly seen that it's a rectangle therefore measurement of third side of triangle is also going to be one centimeter since both the sides are same we can say that it is isosceles triangle and since we have measurement of all three sides of a triangle we can use Heron's formula and find out the area I hope all of you know what is Heron's formula as the decimal parameter equals sum of all the sides divided by 2 now we will substitute ABC by its respective value and calculating further we come across the answer 5.5 centimeter as well the formula for the area by Heron's for formula of course it square root of s multiply with s minus a multiply with s minus b multiply with s minus a here replacing the values and calculating further we come across an answer approximately value that is 0.75 multiplied by 3.31 and hence it is 2.4825 centimeter square this way we get area of 1 but few of you might have a doubt that how did I solve this part that means how did I get 0.75 and 11 and how did I come across the approx value so for those students and even for those who know please revise this once again we have square root of 5.5 multiply by 0.5 multiply by 0.5 multiply by 4.5 so what first step is first we will remove the decimal point like this now you can see that for 55 and 45 I can write 
like this that is 11 into multiply by 5 and for 45 I have written 3 multiply by 3 multiply by 5 because 9 5 are 45 and instead of 9 I have written 3 multiply by 3 now you know that <coughs> it is a square root of 11 multiply by 5 square multiply with 5 square multiply with 3 square and divided by couple of 10 squares since we know the square root of x square is equal to x therefore I can write like this and the calculation gives me the value 75 upon over 100 multiply with root 11 but instead of that I will write directly 0 0.75 multiply with root 11 now we have written approx value of root 11 so few of you might have doubt how to find value of root 11 so we can find value of root 11 by long division method for this you have to divide 11 in a regular way with the number whose square is either near to 11 or exit to 11 if you check out say 4 square it gives us 16 which is greater than 11 so we cannot take 4 but of course yeah 3 3 square is 9 so we are dividing this 11 by 3 in a regular way it gives us reminder 2 now we cannot divide further so we are taking decimal at the quotient point and adding to 0 as a dividend but to make a new divisor we have to double the quotient so it is 6 now we have to select one digit such that the calculation of that new number starts with 6 and multiplication of that digit something like this you can see that x is a new digit so 6 and that new digit and multiplication with the same digit can help us to divide this 200 so it is 3 63 3 is a 189 and it gives us reminder 11 now here the 6 remain the same and these 3 get doubles so it is 66 and again the new number which you have already learned in your previous class so working accordingly we come across approx value of root 11 is 3.31 that's why we have taken here 0.75 multiply by 3.31 and approx value we came across 2.25 four eight two five centimeter square I hope you are clear with the calculation part now we will find area of second figure it is very easy to find out that it's a rectangle so area of 2 is equal to area of rectangle and the formula of area of rectangle is L multiply by B that is length by breadth and here we have ready-made measurement so calculating further it gives us answer 6.5 centimeter square so like this we have found area of second figure now we will find area of third figure you can see this third figure is trapezium and area of trapezium is height multiply with sum of its parallel side that is a plus b divided by 2 to do this calculation you need to be little attentive study so this is our third figure area of 3 
is equal to area of triangle trapezium area formula for area of trapezium is h that is height multiply by a plus b that is sum of its parallel sides divided by 2 now to find the height of this trapezium we will draw two lines like this and you can see by drawing this line this side is going to be exactly same as the given side so the measurement of this part is also going to be one centimeter the total baseline is of 2 cm so rest of the sides are of 0.5 cm and 0.5 cm as well you can see that this is going to be right angle triangle so by using Pythagoras rule we can find out the height of this triangle as well as trapezium so height that is at square because we are using Pythagoras AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square so AC square is uh, AB square is equal to AC square minus BC square calculating further it gives us value height is equal to square root of 0 0.75 which is also again by the long division method it gives us approx value of 0 0.866 centimeter therefore by using this value into the formula of area of trapezium it gives us approx value 1.299 centimeter square and hence we have found like this area of third figure now we will find area of fourth figure which is by looking at the figure only we can say that is equal to area of fifth figure both are right angle triangle so it's easy area of triangle is equal to half by h half in multiply with 6 multiply by 1.5 the values it is 4.5 centimeter square but since there are two triangles we will multiply it with 2 and we come across 9 centimeter square so we have got values for area of fourth and fifth figure now we will add now we will add all the respective results plus area of two plus area of third plus area of fourth and plus area of fifth you can see here I have taken two different value for area four and five whereas we have previously multiply it with two just for the calculation part so it gives us approx 19.28 centimeter square and that is our answer that total area of paper used is approx 19.28 centimeter square hope you understand the question thanks for watching still some of you may have doubt how to write in exam so for those students please have a look first you need to write called solution then draw a geometrical diagram then how will you find the total area of the paper use that is by addition of all the area of the, all the figures then you have to find and write one by one all the area of 1, 2, 3, 4 respectively and like this you can 
add all the figures and find final answer and then you have to write final answer and make a box around it